afternoon and welcome to the Friday Live. Now today it's a great time to talk about some rituals and habits that I use and I teach my clients for the end of the month, before the new month starts. <clears throat> now, I have a question for you and I'd love to know in the comments below. Do you take the time to review your month, your day, your week, your year? You see, it's a really key thing to do most of the time, we're all rushing around, being busy, juggling all the commitments that we have. Now, right now, that might have changed, and there's even more reason to review your month because routines have been thrown out of normal order. People's lives have been, you know, toppled upside down, and that's when we forget to do the things that we normally do. So for some people that review their, their months, they might have fallen out of that because their routine's been changed. So we've got to the end of the month, and as I said, it's a really important time to take a few minutes and just look back to see how your month went. And I, I relate this to um, an analogy of athletes. You know, if an athlete is, tr is training for an event, a competition, or perhaps the Olympics, while they train every day and consistently, at this high level of performance, it's about the small incremental shifts and only making micro adjustments that create incredible results and can be the difference between winning a gold and a silver. So you take this to your life and or your business. Do you want to live a mediocre life or do you want to continually improve and tweak and learn and grow and evolve? Because I believe we're here on this planet and one of our purposes is to have a great life with meaning and to improve and learn and grow. And there's an expression in the sporting terms in performance psychology called focus, feedback, fix. So we'll imagine that you've trained, done what you've done over the month of July. That was your focus. Feedback. So now it's time to review because if we don't review, how can we possibly see what could need improving, see what we did well, and then make some changes to take us to the next level? So this stage is feedback, and obviously the next phase is fix. So what I suggest you do, if you don't do it already, is have a look back over the last month. And the first thing to do is to make a note of everything that you did well. And your challenge is to look for the small things that you've done not just the big wins. The reason for this is twofold. First, it trains your mind muscle, so you're disciplining your mind muscle to look for the things that it normally misses. So you're training it to see things that it might have missed and that's where the gold is because we only see about 95% of what's out there in the world. The second thing is when you train your mind to look for the good, and you acknowledge all the amazing wins that you've got, you feel better, your brain sends you a shot of serotonin, and isn't it much better to set off for the next month on a cushion of successes rather than looking at what you didn't do on your to-do list? Because remember, our brains have a natural ability to look for danger and look at what we haven't done or what went wrong. So the first thing to do is to write down all your successes. Now, reverse engineering, if you do these every day, and I get my clients, they have routines that they do every day and every week. If you review your day and your week, it's much easier to review the month. If you haven't started, great, make a start now. So write down all your successes, the big and the small. So you're sitting on a cushion of success so you can see all the things you did do. The next thing to do is to have a look at what didn't work for you this month. And what I mean by that, it's actually looking for the things that you neglected yet again, or you failed once again, or you started and you stopped. It could be as simple as maybe you were intending to start learning a language, start learning to dance or learn to play the piano. And you might have set that three months ago, and now three months later, you still haven't made a start. So that's what I call one of our repeated mistakes. Those are the ones to highlight and decide, well, is this really important? And if it is, to schedule and prioritize it as an importance for the next month or let it go. So it's a way of reviewing 
the things that we haven't done or we didn't do well. And again, it's good to look at the things that didn't work out well. Maybe you tried a new marketing strategy and it wasn't successful. Well, you can determine what went wrong and through the lens of curiosity and kindness, how can we change it? Do we need to make some small changes and decide what needs to be changed? So this is the feedback and then the fix. So have a look at what didn't work and what you didn't do well. And then what will you do about it? What will you do differently? So that's creating the fix. How will you fix it? Then you have a list of important things that you're going to focus on for the next month. Then ask yourself, right, what is the one major focus for me to focus on in the month of August? Sometimes less is better. And if we pick one thing and we get that done, we'll be way further off down the track better than if we did lots of things and we never complete them. So this process just helps you um, get conscious. You know, a life worth living is a life worth recording. It allows you to see where you went well, where you could have done better, and what you're going to do about it. From there, you create your one most important thing for the month, and you write a list of the key drivers or goals, and then your next step, obviously, is scheduling them into your diary. So look, look at that through the lens of sports, focus, feedback, fix. So your key now is what is your major focus going to be for the next month? Remember to get, give yourself feedback, ideally on a daily basis is good, but at least once a week or at the end of the month. And fix, what will you do differently if something didn't work? Rather than give up or berate yourself because you didn't do it well or it wasn't successful, perhaps it's much better to look at it, well, how could we change this? What can I do to improve? Or maybe who do I need help from to help make this happen? It's a really good strategy. Please let me know in the comments below what has been your greatest success or win. It could be small or big, but something that's been really significant for you over the last month and what you're committed to focusing on for the month of August. So I hope that was helpful and please uh, watch out on my page. I'm going to be starting um, a five day challenge, a mindset challenge later on in the month. Um, totally free so I'll be putting details in the next couple of weeks about that to help you um, get through the crisis and give yourself a bit of a mindset reboot so um, please watch out for that so have a great weekend I hope that was helpful remember in the comments below let me know what was one of your greatest wins or successes this month could just been getting through the month and, um, with everybody at home and surviving um, or it could be you got a job or you built your business or you still kept your business going or you started to learn a new language, whatever is your success and the one thing you're going to commit to focusing on for the month of August. Have a great weekend. It's Mandy from Mindset for Success. Um, let me know if you have any questions and if you want articles and, and more information, go and have a look at my website, mindsetforsuccess.com.au. There's a lot of other resources on there too. So have a great weekend. Bye for now.